Despite the coronavirus lockdown, supporters of former President Álvaro Uribe took to their cars, waving the national flag in defense of their political hero. After the country's Supreme Court ordered his detention and charged him of witness tampering and fraud in an investigation linking him to paramilitary groups. This is not right. It's a political judgment where they want to put a president of the republic in prison just because. We demand a fair trial and we are grateful to Alvaro Uribe. Tuesday's decision shocked Colombians, promising to further polarize the country over Uribe's legacy, who remains a senator and the most powerful and divisive politician in the nation. The court reached the decision after concluding there was potential for obstruction of justice. The measure restricting Uribe's freedom is based on a large amount of evidentiary material collected and analyzed by the court, including testimonial evidence, judicial inspections, film recordings and telephone interceptions. For many Colombians, Uribe remains the country's savior, the president who fought Marxist rebel fighters bringing the country back from the brink of collapse. But for his critics, his success came at a high human rights cost, as right-wing paramilitary groups and the army terrorized and killed thousands of civilians. In Bogotá, some came out to celebrate the court's decision. I think most of us have been waiting for this day for a long time. We want justice. We really feel we deserve justice and that this needed to happen. Uribe is the first former president to ever face detention in the country. His allies, including current president Ivan Duque, have defended him questioning the court's independence. I am and always will be a believer in the innocence and honor of someone who by example has earned a place in Colombia's history. The case stems from a long-running feud with a leftist senator who Uribe accuses of plotting to falsely link him to paramilitary groups. But the judges believe it was Uribe instead who was trying to temper the witnesses in his defense. If found guilty, Uribe could face up to 12 years in prison in a case that could change the political landscape in the country, where powerful politicians have long avoided persecution despite years of investigations. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.